What's up guys, this is Moment back here again and today I'm very excited because half of the products have arrived which I ordered from Hong Kong and uh, but this product, the unboxing which I'm going to make today is not from Hong Kong, it's basically uh, from the UK I've ordered it. It's a specific tripod which I needed to make uh, the uh, top-down videos. So you know those top-down videos which you see on YouTube that they have this specific look and um, I did my research and I tried to find out what would be the best option and what would be the best tripod in the market that I can I can make those videos. So um, I found out that uh, there are different brands. There are KNF. There is uh, there's a tripod from uh, um, Manfrotto as well, and then there was Zumi. So this company Zumi uh, is produces the same type of tripod, uh, but it's uh, just cost effective. It's very cheap. So I got it for 78 pounds, and it's a 75 inch uh, tripod, which is uh, more taller than my height. So I'm like 5'11", and this is more taller than me uh, myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox this, and we're going to then open it up, and going to show you the perspective. I'm going to show you guys that why is this tripod really helpful for overhead videos from top down. So without any delay, let's get into it and let's see what comes in the box. So guys, this is a product from Zumi and uh, they make other products as well, but this is their tripod series. It's called the Professional Tripod and the model number just for reference is M8. I would highly recommend if you're looking to shoot top down videos, then this Zumi M8 is the best option, but just make sure that you get uh, the 72 inches one. So first of all, the packaging, it's all black, plain, matte in color. On one side, it just describes you how the tripod is. On one side, it says Zoomy. On the bottom, it's got this barcode. So let's go ahead and let's unbox it and see what comes in the box. As you can see right now, I'm struggling to make this video because my tripod is not that tall enough. That is the case for the tripod. Now, it's a nice handy carry case. Uh, roughly speaking, this tripod is not really more than uh, maybe two, two kilograms, maybe something like that. But yeah, it's got a nice sturdy case. So first of all, we have these Velcro ties. So you open up the Velcro and it's got these really nice handles over here where you can uh, hang it around your shoulder. So on this end, you have Zoomy written and then you have the zip. And here it is, the tripod. Now, interesting thing about this tripod is that uh, it comes with a ball head and the videos I looked uh, at they all said that it's got a fluid drag ball head but I'm gonna test it out so let's go ahead and uh, let's sort of open it I'm just gonna open up the the legs so it's got these uh, sort of uh, clicks so where you can add a position so my position would be that so that's gonna be locked like that and that and then you have these um, rubber bits and just turn them like that and then it, it really just uh, you know drops down and then you have that one that is it so just let me quickly open it and I'll just show you guys how tall it is so guys uh, I've just opened up the tripod and uh, but I'm going to show you what else comes in the packaging uh, one is this leaflet and it's got this allen key over here as you can see and this is used to tight uh, the screws of uh, the tripod and then you have uh, this bit which is I think so it's for the center column uh, I'm not entirely sure but it comes yeah for the center column so I'm just gonna keep that back in apart from that there's some silica gel that's it and yeah that's it so I'm just gonna show you the tripod now so guys as you can see over here it has a very tall tripod and uh, it's roughly you can see it's my height and here we have fluid ball head so you have the ball head on the top and then you have this uh, leveling sort of plate and then you have the ball head top I'm just gonna keep that just to show you in perspective how tall this tripod is you can you can imagine that this is like really really tall this center column can go down it slides up like that and it also you know uh, you can do it in that way and then what you need to do is you can um, you can twist it and that's where do the top down uh, shots like that so that is the real reason I bought this uh, tripod and then this is fluid drag head and that's fluid uh, drag head as well so on two sides you got the fluid drag head just to show you in perspective that this is how 
tall the whole tripod is after it's folded. So this is the tallest tripod in the Zumi range. So just going to extend it. If I were to fully extend it, it's really, really tall. So it's even taller than me if I would want to take the full potential of it. And <laughs> literally it's, it's very high. If I were to lock in one of the center columns, it's roughly, I think, so it's 5'10", it would be. So it's pretty tall. So let's get back inside and let's take a closer look at this tripod. So the top of the tripod, it's got this uh, ball head over here. And right now I have extended the center column clips over here, which I can even adjust the size of the legs. Then we have these foam grips on three of the legs. And then going down, we have the lock nuts. So each day, the lock nuts are on three sections. That's one and that's two and that's three. So you've got three lock nut sections and we have this center column adjustment um, over here. If I just open that quickly, so that would fall down here. As I showed you, this is a fluid uh, head and what I can do is I can even unscrew this and that would basically uh, just make it drop so you see that's absolutely that's come dropped and on the top we also have a spirit level to level out if you are doing some sort of photography or you just need to level out your camera this was my well-born tripod and if I were to keep it side by side if I were to compare it you can see that even if it's fully uh, like this is not fully open uh, but still it's taller than my well-born tripod when it's fully open so uh, i just think that it's it's an amazing piece of kit it's made of really good quality and i'm just going to do some top-down shots and show you guys how that really looks so guys after uh, doing some fine tuning on the adjustments and uh, to putting it to level now i have a proper uh, top-down shot if I want to do some unboxing it's very easy for me uh, to do an unboxing all I have to do is I just have to go around the tripod but you see that uh, now it's giving a very different uh, perspective of the product and uh, that is what I really wanted uh, I wanted uh, my reviews to be you know stand out and uh, it, it, this was the main reason to buy this tripod so guys, just to put things in perspective, now I'm filming from my iPhone 11 Pro and I'm using this app called Moments. And I'm gonna show you how it actually looks. If you can see, this is the tripod going down. I mean, it's got a huge uh, footprint, uh, but the best thing is that uh, I can easily make my videos by doing this top-down shot and which is of this and the thing is that I would have to pass my arm around like that and over here if I hold the product and you can see that uh, it's very very clear right now if I needed to do those uh, top-down videos uh, so this is the main purpose uh, to actually get this uh, tripod because you know it's got this uh, center column then it's got this column where you can basically uh, push in or pull out and then you have the ball head and the most interesting thing is that uh, this section is fluid drag and that section is fluid drag as well uh, which really makes sense because I'm just going to show you guys that if I move this it's truly it's 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 like it is fluid drag and it's really smooth it's better than my last tripod and uh, which makes sense and then you have this area which is fluid drag and you can increase or decrease the tension from this nut over here so guys the only problem is that i have to be very careful that i don't move the tripod because if you see if it i hit it a little bit it just starts being wobbly so i just have to maybe uh, grip it up in such a way that the legs can be tied against the the desk so guys this was my video for the zoomy ma tripod and i hope you guys liked this video if you did give that thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel and uh, I'm just going to get on and start doing the unboxing. I've got tons of unboxings coming. So stay tuned and catch in my next video. And guys, bye for now.